Today we're going to look at Notable PDF, which is a Chrome extension that allows for annotating and highlighting PDF files. Uh, so I've got an assignment here in Google Classroom. I've attached a PDF file and also a link uh, to the Notable PDF extension. And in the description, I've instructed students to use the extension to annotate and share their thoughts on this article. Uh, note that I'm making a copy for each student as well. So when I click Assign, and then we can jump over to the student view here. Here's our assignment. We're looking at the instructions, I've got a link that's visible right away, and then I've also got my PDF file here. So we'll first install the Notable PDF extension at notablepdf.com and we'll click download Chrome extension and click add. Waiting for installation. Okay, so the Notable PDF uh, extension has been added. We've got the option to uh, log in or sign up using our email address and password or if you have a Google Plus account which most of uh, District 155 students will have a Google Plus account, they can click this button here to, to sign in with Google Plus. So from here they'll have the option, this is the notable PDF extension, they have the option to uh, upload a file or to pull one in from their Google Drive. First you must authorize Google Drive. The beauty of it being a Chrome extension is that um, once it's installed, once you've gone through those initial uh, authorizations, the extension will follow the student to any device that they sign into with a Chrome browser. Um, so here we can see PDFs um, it's just going through my Google Drive and looking for uh, any PDF files. Since we've assigned it using Classroom, that PDF file appears here. Um, so we can select that one and jump right in. Um, there's a couple features that we can use. The first is the highlight feature. You can select a color and highlight text, just like you would on uh, Microsoft Word, etc. Uh, different colors. There's also the strike through option, more so if you're doing um, kind of suggesting edits, I guess. More for peer review. You can underline, same functionality there, select a color, highlight the passage that you'd like to underline, and then you can leave comments as well. Um, couple ways you can do that. You can either click on, say there's an image that you'd want to leave a comment on. Um, you can just click where you'd want to leave the comment and type your comment and press enter. Uh, additionally, you can highlight text, a specific passage, and leave a comment there as well. Then when uh, when a user hi or hovers their mouse over the place that you've left a comment, it will see on the right here, it, it shows that that's the comment for, for that particular section. So then to share this back with the teacher, this is the student PDF file, uh, what they would do is go to the share document link here. They'll have to upload it to Notable basically just storing the file on notable servers and then they have an easy to share link which they can copy and we'll come back to classroom here and we will add a link and we're going to click turn in So now when we go back to our teacher dashboard, 
We can see that the student has completed the assignment. We'll click here. And we'll click on the student's name to see their work. The original PDF will be unmodified, but if we actually click on the link here, I'm just going to sign in once. And then here you can see the students' uh, annotations, their comments on the side, and you even have the option to uh, comment back. So jumping back to the student side now, they have access to their link as well. So they can jump back in and see their teacher's feedback right there as well. And this uh, pop-up box here is asking if, um, if you'd want to be notified when um, changes have been made. So allowing desktop notifications, you'll get a little pop-up down here uh, when a new comment is left. So as a student now, I'm going to say, hello. and you'll see I've got in uh, my teacher account, I've gotten a, a notification saying that the student has replied. So you've got the option to turn that off or on. Um, but yeah, there's the, that's the basic functionality of the Notable PDF extension.